How's it going, everybody? This is Phil, the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. As you can see by my opening in this review, I'm doing the uh, newly released, pardon me, newly released Godzilla 1995 Sakai Edition 30 centimeter. This is an excellent figure. And there's been a lot of talk since I posted on the X Plus group yesterday about it. Um, I think it comes from the final, toward the end of the film, the final battle with uh, Destroyer, in my opinion. Um, a lot of talk about the eyes and stuff and the, the mouth and the face. Um, but I just feel like it comes from that scene in that movie. Um, it's a very nicely done figure. I like it a lot. I love it actually I don't see a lot wrong with it to be honest after watching the film and comparing what I see in the film to what I see on this figure I, I just don't see a lot of anything wrong with it um, like I said it's a 30 centimeter and this one's a full 30 centimeter it's big you will see with my comparisons and stuff and I posted yesterday in the X plus group uh, pictures of him with every Sakai I have and uh, he's definitely a big huge figure pretty much a full 30 centimeter figure he's not short like the other Sakai's um, but I feel like it is from the final scenes of the movie and the final scenes of the film I know people were saying stuff about his eyes if you watch the movie I'm gonna put up some pictures here on my review final scenes in the movie his eyes are not white they are red they are changing colors in the movie they're glowing i guess because of his nuclear melt impending nuclear meltdown he his eyes changed various times in that uh, whole scenes of the final battle and these eyes if you look at them close under a light the backs of the eyes were usually white are bloodshot so they do they are not white at all they're They've got bloodshot in them. I, I posted pictures last, last night on the Facebook X Plus group. And I took close pictures with my phone. And um, one of them really good, shows really well the bloodshot eyes uh, behind the uh, pupils. But I think there's nothing wrong with that. Because in the film, you're looking at these pictures I'm posting. His eyes are red. They're bloodshot. Um, when they're freezing him... The eyes look really similar to this, I think. Um, it's just, uh, it's it's fine by me, in my, in my opinion. Of course, everybody can have their own view and opinion on it, but I, I feel like the eyes are wonderfully done. They uh, depict that final moments in the film, and I think that's what this was taken from. I'm not sure of that, but that's my two cents on the matter. Um, but I think his face is nice. At first, I thought his snout might be a little short, but then again, I look at the movie and I think this mouth and snout are perfectly fine. It's just, uh, it's fine. I don't have an issue with it. Um, overall, I think it's a very good release in the Sakai lineup. Um, yeah, he has small teeth and all that. We'll get to that. I'm going to start with the tail. The tail, the footprint of the figure is pretty big it's like the original 30 centimeter his tail almost goes directly straight back it goes down touches level touches flush then goes up and slightly to his right but it pretty much goes straight back the tail now here's the one thing i couldn't figure out if not anybody knows let me know the little uh spikes on his tail that become his dorsal plates they're all orange all the way down from the tip of his tail up to his plates on his back the dorsal plates and i don't recall seeing that in the movie that where they were like that unless it's right at the very end the only thing i i can think of is that maybe it depicts the very end of the film when he's going to melt down because he just turns all orange and starts melting down and maybe that's what that depicts but i don't remember ever seeing them all orange and i was i thought he was like the gigantic and the 30 centimeter they were wide up to the point of the, uh, you know, they were wide up to the dorsal plates and then they became the orange and the 
the orange, but uh, he his his door his his spikes on his tail are all orange, and I don't know where they depicted that from in the film. My opinion is it's at the very end when he's gonna melt down, and he's just so so hot that uh, they may have turned orange. I don't know. Um, if you know, uh, comment below. But it is nicely done tail, nice uh, sculpted, nicely sculpted skin effects on this thing. Very nicely done. Uh, of course, the dorsal plates start getting bigger the closer he gets to his back. And all the dorsal plates on his back are very nicely done. Dark, darker blackish gray inner with the nice texture on the plate. Of course, the out, outer is all the orange. And these are translucent vinyl, so you can see through them. Light will reflect through them. Um, but I think the coloring on them is nicely done. Nice, nice paint application with the dorsal plates and the orange and the black. I think it looks really good. Just like in the film, um, of course, that's my only conjecture. This is my only really big conjecture with the film is the, the orange spikes on his tail. I, I don't recall that, seeing that in the movie. As far as his feet, his toenails, he, he has four toes. Toenails are a uh, bone yellowish color, yellowish whitish color. Same with his fingernails. Got four fingers on his hands. Um... Same with the finger claws, uh, bonish yellowish uh, white, and at the base of the nails, they're all the darker color going to his skin. Of course, his skin app is uh, the orange, the orange is orange var variations of orange, depicting his burning state, and his skin uh, texture is almost the blackish, very dark blackish gray. It's very very dark compared to the other. Uh, hey say Godzilla it's a darker uh, color but uh, it's also darker on the original 30 centimeter though in my opinion so it looks really good but I'm really impressed with the sculpting of this figure the uh, skin textures and everything are really nicely done I think it is superior to the original 30 centimeter in sculpting wise as far as details of course but Sakai's are known for details and everything, so that makes sense. But of course, he's got the big wide hips and stuff. Traditional of the 95, he was a big guy. And uh, the burning effects on it, I don't know some people have issues with that, but I don't know, Just I just feel like they're about right. I mean, it, it, I think it represents different periods of him lighting up and going dark because the whole movie he's flashing orange and different shades of orange and, and they get lighter and darker and lighter and darker and then he's glowing and I just feel like all these uh, burning effects on him are really nicely done and then the way the light in the room hits him uh, it'll make him look brighter too I mean when I was taking my pictures I noticed that the more light I had on him, the brighter these areas got. So it definitely, light plays an effect on these uh, translucent vinyl uh, burning Godzilla skin areas where he's showing orange. It, the light definitely plays a uh, role on those. And I, there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion because uh, he was glowing and the whole time. and and you know heading toward a meltdown state so he just kept getting more intense and intense and intense and i feel like these oranges have to be different shades different colors different variations of orange because that's where he was headed um but it it's all throughout his body through his thighs his midsection or some his chest it runs streaky from up from his chest to his neck area that that was prevalent in the movie on on the suit um, up here in his shoulders, some nice burning effects. He he is really nicely done figure. Um, I like this pose on this figure too. Um, it's more dynamic than the uh, original 30 centimeter. He's it's kind of like he's walking forward, and uh, one hand's kind of down. His left hand's kind of down, but his right hand is kind of up high, like he's getting ready to uh, hit it, destroy ya. Um, I, I like uh, his pose. I like this pose on this one better than the original 30 centimeter for sure.
but he's the, I, I just think the burning effects and everything are really nicely done on him the sculpted skin the way it's sculpted I like the paint app um I think uh, some people might have an issue with it being a little glossy or shiny I think a lot of that comes from the trans the orange the burning effect there is it that's where it really like shines a lot I think like especially the way the light hits it just me sitting here spinning it around you can probably see the light affecting the uh, burning areas on the figure um, I think it's meant to do that though that's what it's meant to do so but it, it's really nicely done in my opinion of course he's a big strong looking Godzilla his chest is puffed out pretty good and he's got the burning effects like I said there um, dorsal plates really are impressive though I mean they're the translucent um, and the light will affect them I posted in my post yesterday on the X plus group I put a lot just put a simple flashlight behind them and they were shining through so it, it, it is really nicely done um, I, I like when the light affects these burning areas it uh, I can totally make them look sh brighter shinier just by a simple light on them um, and that's pretty cool I think I like that but it has nice effects on it here in the hip area upper hip area and sides has some wrinkling suit wrinkling some suit wrinkling on the back of the legs here showing some uh, accuracies for the suit as far as his head um, I think a lot of people had an issue with the head but I don't anymore after watching the movie I think that mouth the snout proportion is just about right with uh, him as far as his snout um, certain angles though I would say he does look a little suspect but I, I, I still when I watch the movie and I've got some stills from the movie on my phone I'm putting in this review and I think it still looks about right like I said, the eyes, the pupil, the inner pupil is black. The outer ring of the uh, pupils are a yellowish, orangish color. And then there's a black outer, very thin black outer beyond that. And then the white, there is no white of the eyes on this figure. It's, uh, they're bloodshot. If you take a very good look at them, to me they look bloodshot. So there is no true white of the eyes on this figure but toward the end of the film like i said there is his eyes are not white at all but earlier in the film they were white they were clearly white um so he was just changing he was morphing and changing i think it was due to the meltdown state but uh he's really nicely done um i like the skin textures how they did it the, the black really contrasts nicely with the orange burning effects in my opinion on the figure as far as the mouth he has the double row of teeth they're small teeth um that's pretty prevalent but they're small teeth but most of the sakais i believe have smaller teeth in the mouth they're not like their 30 centimeter original series they, they have smaller teeth but they're finely detailed individually sculpted teeth upper and lower jaws um, upper jaw has some nice uh, dark it's like a reddish color with some black uh, texturing in there same on the tongue it's a reddish color individually sculpted tongue nicely done um, Sakai always has details uh, run abound on his figures and this one is no exception I will proceed to some size comparisons and we will do that right now all right everybody first size comparison is the original 30 centimeter X plus burning Godzilla with the newly released Sakai burning Godzilla As you can see they're literally almost the same height it's uh, pretty amazing they are practically almost the same size the girth the original 30 centimeter has girth on him but that's pretty much about it but the 30 centimeter is nice the original here they are face to face you can see he's cutting by maybe a half inch that's it 
I mean, this is the biggest Sakai 30 centimeter that's been released today by far. Ain't even close. But they, uh, it's very impressive, both of these figures, I think. Both of these figures are very, very nicely done. All right, we'll go on to another size comparison uh, right now. All right, everybody, I've brought Destroya forward. That's the uh, 25 centimeter Destroya from X Plus. I think a lot of people were hoping that uh, this Sakai would be in the smallest range like the others and it would scale well with Destroya, but Sakai uh, shot that one out of the water, I guess you could say, because um, he is big. He, he is definitely big. I guess the 25 centimeter burning Godzilla still is the best scaling Godzilla to uh, destroy a, I guess we would have to say. But they do look cool together anyway, in my opinion. Even though he's too tall, both this one and the original 30 centimeter, I still think I like the Paramount with destroy a. They still look really cool together. All right, we'll move on to another size comparison uh, right away. All right, everybody, I'm back. I've got the Sakai Godzilla 91 here. First version, the closed mouth. Everybody's perennial favorite uh, Godzilla figure, pretty much, I think. You can see the size. The size of this thing is impressive. It's it's uh it was surprising when i opened it up i thought and i put the tail on i'm like whoa wait a minute that thing's way bigger than the other other sakais in that line 30 centimeter line up and i was right it's uh definitely bigger all right we'll move on to another size comparison right now all right everybody i've got my favorite sakai so that's news here this is still my number one, the O2, Godzilla 2002. I will give him a ranking at the end. Um, but this is still my top, personally, at least at this point in my uh, decision making. <laughs> These aren't easy to decide, but um, the Sakai O2 is my X plus figure of this year to date still. It hasn't been replaced. Um, it's still my figure of the year. It's I love it that much. It, it impressed me that much. So, um, still my uh, figure of the year for X Plus to date, and I hope uh, it stays that way. But we'll see. Um, but it's just so impressive. But this one's pretty impressive too. But they look pretty good together. But his size is just mind-boggling. Really, honestly, it, it's a. Uh, so uh, crazy when I put his tail on I realized that he was way bigger than the whole rest of the line All right, we'll do one final size comparison right now All right, everybody of course I have to bring up the OG the original Godzilla the Sakai Godzilla 54 With the Sakai 95 the beginning of the Showa era and the end of the Heisei era right there. This 54 is the quintessential 54. Having a collection though, he's he's really, really good. This is the if I had to recommend one fifty-four it would be this Sakai. This uh, 30 centimeter Sakai is really great. They really did a good job with this guy. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts about this 95 and we'll do that right now. All right, everybody, I'm back. My final thoughts on this figure, it's great. It's a very wonderful figure, nicely done. I just feel like I mean, the light really plays on these orange spots, in my opinion. You just move it around, you can see, like, um, the way it plays with it. And that's To me, that's not a bad thing. It's, it's translucent vinyl, right? It's supposed to be affected by light, so 
I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. It's a wonderful figure. It's a wonderfully done figure. It's masterfully sculpted. The uh, coloring, I think they've got it really good, really nicely done, really uh, spot on. The only thing I had conjecture about was this tail. The, there's orange all the way from the tip to his to his big dorsal plates, and I didn't don't recall that in the film. So I'm wondering if anybody knows where that came from, because um, I'm I'm not 100% for sure to be honest. But other than that, there um. To me, I have zero issue with this thing. It's really nice. Um, I like how the, the burn spots are different shades of orange and different depths. I mean, you can see depth of the orange into the vinyl. It's just really cool. Um, I think they depicted the ending. I think this is from the final fight, in my opinion, because of his eyes. As the movie went on, his eyes got... Uh, more redder and redder and more glowing and all kinds of stuff was going on and but at the beginning of the film his eyes were straight up his pupils were white so I just feel like this is a depiction of the final scenes um, when he's about to uh, go into meltdown mode but it's a nicely done figure and I'm very glad I went with it and uh I would like to see if anybody got the standard their pictures of it. I want to see the differences, but uh, I am very happy about this. It's just crazy how the light plays on these orange spots. I mean, I can just see it just by turning it here. This light here is playing on it, so it, it's really cool how it does that. I like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But I would give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. I just not sure about all this orange on his uh, tail spikes. Um, if anybody knows, comment below. But uh, other than that, I think he Sakai's done a really good job, admirable job with this thing. And those eyes, there is white there, but it's faint. I mean, it, and if you look at it closely, I looked at it with a flashlight. That those are bloodshot lines. It looks like to me back there in his eyes. And uh, I, I think his his snout is really nicely proportioned and everything i just think that um i'm just surprised by its size <laughs> and then there's all this orange on his tail throughout because I, I thought he would have a little bit of white or grayish white on there but um other than that i can't complain on this figure at all i would highly recommend this to anyone collector i will bring the camera closer for a close-up of this stunning thing and uh oh also, he's number two on my Sakai's now. Uh-oh, I said it. The 91's three now. Just, in, 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 in fact, this is my favorite Heisei suit along with the 84. That's why this is going to be number two on my Sakai list now. 91 was two, now it's three. Sakai 02 is still number one. I know I'll probably get a lot of flack for that, but that's my list top three right now of the Sakai 30 centimeter figures Sakai 021 95 is now number two 91 is three like I said there's some partiality involved there because I love this suit so all right I will now bring the camera closer for a close-up and I want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching and you all have a very wonderful day